Welcome to my project bazaar.com. Let us discuss about the dynamic spectrum allocation for the downlink of OFDMA based hybrid access cognitive femtocell networks. Let us discuss about the abstract of the product. The cognitive femtocell has emerged as an exciting technology to solve the indoor coverage problem in future cellular networks. Recently, several technique issues for the cognitive femtocell have been studied. For example, spectrum sharing and indifferent migration. However, the incentive method that is very important for practical hybrid access, cognitive femtocell deployment has not well been well investigated. In this paper, propose a new dynamic spectrum allocation method for the hybrid access cognitive femtocell. In the proposed method, the macro base region allocates a portion of subchannels to the femto access point to support the FAP to serve the macro users. Then the FAP allocates the subchannels and power to maximize the femtocell network utility, whereas a throughput of the served macro users is guaranteed. Moreover, we formulate the corresponding resource allocation problem as a sum of utilization maximization problem and propose an optimization method to solve it via dual decomposition method. Simulation results shows that both the wireless service provider and the femtocell would benefit from the proposed method. Femtocells are smaller telecommunication based stations that can be installed in residential or business environments either as single stand alone items or in cluster to provide improved cellular coverage within a building. It is widely known the cellular coverage especially for data transmission where good signal strengths are needed is not as a good within a buildings. By using a small internal base station femtocell the cellular performance can be improved along with the possible provision of the additional services. Let us discuss about the flow diagram of the product. Initially, in the system model, OFDMA based architecture, two train network architecture is considered. Also deployed with base station, femto access point, and macro user deployment. The wireless operators is allocating the point of spectrum resources to FEP by using these three deployments to achieve the maximum network utility and the throughput. And then the next is a dual decomposition method. The dual decomposition method is uh, split up into two sub problems. One is application layer and another one is a physical layer. The optimization of problem is mixed binary integer programming problem and is non-convex. However, since a time sharing condition is satisfied in the OFDMA systems with a large number of subcarriers, the duality gap is proved to zero. Therefore, in this paper, the Lacrangian dual method is employed to derive the optimal solution. The dual function consists of two sets of variables. The variable dn for the application layer and the variables lambda m and lambda n for the physical layer. The overall sum of utilization maximization problem can be solved by using the dual decomposition method. Next, update uh, update the theta use the subgradient method. When update the value of theta in the subgradient model, we need to obtain the solution of both application layers of problem and the physical subproblem. The network utility of the femtocell network is reached when the values of theta are convergent. And then the net, uh, dynamic spectrum allocation method. The dynamic spectrum allocation method is proposed to the support both wireless operator and the FAP to adapt a hybrid access in the cognitive femtocell network to achieve the same QoS of the MU in the indoor communication consumed the less subchannels compared with the outdoor communication. On the other hand, the macro BS would improve in spectrum efficiency by saving a part of the spectrum. To implement the dynamic spectrum allocation method, corresponding protocol is designed and finally estimate the network utility. And then the final performance analysis. The final performance analysis in the network utility converge, the performance analysis is completed. Otherwise, it is repeated the dual decomposition method to solve the subproblems. Yeah, here we discuss about the running procedure for the product. Select the main file for executing the product. Now, by executing the file, many outputs are left display. So, these all outputs are related to our flow diagram. First of all, yeah, this is our system model. This is a macro base station. The macro base station that is directly transferred the data to the macro users. So, it's a weak, so the SNR is reduced. If the femto access point strong access point that is indicated in the green color so the next graph is the utility function so this is a utility function graph in the utility function graph uh, the uh, utility is this is a target rate and this is utility the target rate is megabits per seconds so the next figure is shown in the 
so this is the next figure in this next figure there are different performance with the different schemes that are uh, op dha and eaca and opca and dsa ha so the op dha means uh, op dha means the optimal allocation for traditional hybrid access and the equal allocation for closed access optimal allocation for closed access and dynamic spectrum allocation for the hybrid taxes so this is this one is our proposed method the red is the high for all the comparison graphs so this is the next graph the actual rates for each and user with proposed dynamic spectrum allocation hybrid access method the blue indicates the fm uh, to user 1 from to user 2 and from to user 3 this is the macro user so these are the actual rates uh, megabits per second so this graph explain the actual rates of the each chip then this is the next graph number of sub channel used by the macro users with different schemes so these are the different two schemes uh, opca is a optimal uh, signal method and dsa is a dynamic spectrum allocation hybrid access method so these are the number of channels so this graph is indicates the number of sub channels used by the macro users with the different schemes so this is the next graph network throughput with different um, uh, number of sub channels so number of sub channels is Uh, one to up one to up to nine. This is the next uh, network throughput. That is a uh, megabits per seconds. So this is our proposed method. Proposed method is a dynamic uh, dynamic spectrum allocation hybrid access. This is our existing method. So the next half, uh, next thing I have shows the number of sub channels through the network utility. So this one is our proposed method, dynamic spectrum allocation. This is our uh, uh, this is our existing method. So that is a uh, it is very reduced compared to the our proposed. So in this graph, network throughput with different number of network section channels. So the network section channels is a uh, the blue is our proposed method, and there is a black is our proposed method. So the black is k is equal to three, and blue is k is equal to five. These are our existing method. This is the number of network section channel versus the network throughput. So this is the final graph. Network utility with different number of network section channels. This is our proposed method, and the black is denoted also our proposed method. So that is the same procedure for the network utility. K is equal to three, and K is equal to five. So that's all about the running procedure for the product. Thank. Thank you for listening this video.